Whoa, I'm so excited. I'm about to do my first collab with another blogger in the area. La Vida Josue. We about to eat, critique. Yo, yo, La Vida Josue. What's up, man? How you doing? Man, I'm excited. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've been checking out your videos, man. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all need to check them out. So today we're at the Rican Puerto Rican restaurant in Virginia Beach. So we're going to try some delicious Puerto Rican food. And I'm telling you, it's going to be Yamo Bucco. How do you say let's eat in uh, Spanish? Vamos a comer. Vamos a comer. Comer. Yeah, you got it. You hungry? I'm hungry. You hungry? I'm hungry. Y'all hungry? Let's eat some Puerto Rican food. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Yeah. Mofongo, Mofongo, Mofongo. I heard they used to eat this a lot on the uh, Sanford and Son. <laughs> so what you got there? Okay, so hey, I was trying. Look, I was trying to tell you the pollo salad, right? So it's the stewed chicken. Uh -huh. So usually it's like a tomato base with like seasonings. Now it does have chicken thighs in it. I'm yeah. not the biggest fan, but I'm telling you, you got the cilantro, you got the peppers, you got the onions. There's garlic in here. I'm telling you, it's packed with flavor with the tomato base. Do you want to try? Uh, Before I go in, because I'm going to go in. Father, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. Ooh. Some chicken. It's good. It's different. It's different. It's not bad. It's not bad. You Would definitely you, taste like that, uh, like I said, the tomato. It's a tomato base. Tomato yeah. base, like like the tomato soup. Um, chicken is nice and tender, and the rice is flavored really, really good. Oh yeah, you can't go wrong with rice. So, mofongo, mofongo, mofongo is like a dish made with plantains. You know, plantains is in the banana family. I have chicken inside of mine. Cilantro and culantro is also in it as well. And look, I just discovered the difference between the two. Cilantro is like the parsley of like Latin American and Asian dishes. Culantro is pretty much the same thing as cilantro, except that, except that usually you just find that more over in like more Asian based countries. But it's pretty much, you can uh, you can use either or in a dish. And it'll pretty much taste similar. Is there a certain way to eat this? Like, could I eat this with my hand? I mean, technically yes, but Oh, look at that juice. Oh, wow. Oh, she, she heard it. Juicy. Moment of truth. Mm. Oh, lightning. Drum roll. Yamo Bako. Look. Let's go. It smell good. I like the sauce. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and join in. Yeah, look, look, look. look. Mm, nice and flavorful, huh? <laughs> that juice from that chicken? Yamo Baco. It does look good, though. It's like so it. good. Like, so good. I know it's in some cultures it says it's not good to have your elbows on the table. This is so good, like... I'm trying to be proper because there's a lot of people up in this restaurant, but I want to take, I want to, I want to take that. If I was home, I'd take this thing right here and slurp this stuff up like I do cereal in the bowl. The milk, the cereal. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. This is so good. So tell my buckle buddies, like, so this is my first time. They always, they've been saying to me, you need to do a collab with another vlogger. I say vlogger because we do videos. But before we even met up, you was actually a buckle buddy, right? A follower. Yes. When I came back into the area, you know, I started to do my food videos and, um, you know, it was just something that I genuinely enjoyed doing. So I was like, hey, I wonder if there's any other creators in the area that might like to do the same thing that I like to do. And then I came across your page and I was like, it's not just me. No. <laughs> I was like, this guy likes food just as much as I do. Maybe he might want to make a video together. I'm glad you reached out because yeah. I learned a lot. Not me up here. Listen, now I see why. If you didn't know no better, you would think you actually eating like a potato, but the way they mash it, and this is a plantain. This is your mabaka how's yours? Oh, you already know. Well, you already know better. Yeah, pulgi salo, that's my thing. Like I said, that stewed chicken. I mean, to me, it's a go-to. Uh -huh. I like to make it at my house. Uh, I'm El Salvadorian, so our culture makes it a little bit differently, but I can get down with this version too. I really want to get like messy up in this, but like... It don't hold back. Don't hold back. So how long have you been doing what you've been doing? With your video. So, I mean, I've been making videos for a couple of years now. Okay. I really was, you know, kind of really just trying to figure out what I was trying to do with video. And then, um, so, 
reviewing food, that was kind of my thing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to keep doing this, keep trying to get better at it. Uh, and that's where we're at now. And, and look, I, look where I'm at now. Look, and I see, too, that you like to travel out the country. And that's like my ultimate goal. Like, I was always asked, like, if money wasn't an issue, what would you like to do? And I said, I would like to travel the world, meet new people, like my buckle buddies. Okay, so your family is from El Salvador? So my dad's from El Salvador uh -huh. and my mom's from Honduras, so both Central America. Mm -hmm. uh, so foods of my family's culture, El uh, Salvadorian, uh, like I was trying to tell you, pupusas, known, you know, that's their national food, which is very delicious. Uh, usually it's like, think of it as like, as like tortillas, but stuffed with like meat, cheese, delicious goodness. Hondurans have baleadas, same kind of thing, breakfast, you know, they throw a little bit of beans, cream, egg. I mean, you know, uh, I just feel like it varies, you know, country to country. Okay. And, Maybe one day on my list of travels, I can uh, get to where y'all, where your family from. Hey, I'm gonna spot right up the street, they got. Ammo <laughs> buckle. It does look good. Mm. It's I like so it. good, like so good. So tell them, tell them how yours. I mean, I know you. That's like one of your popular dishes that you eat a lot here. Yes, sir. So you probably have chicken thighs up in there. So do Ricky have like that? So the one thing is is how tender their chicken is. So mm -hmm. to me, it's like, you know, that chicken is stewed. It's essentially a stewed chicken, like oh. I said. Stewed with all the veggies, the flavors, the tomato paste, and then all together, you know, you take that one bite. And it's yummo buckles, <laughs> huh? It's yummo buckles. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Look, I like your energy too, like. It's cool to be able to meet someone and have like a good vibe. You know, for me, if the vibe ain't good, I know to shut down. And all my business manager gotta be like, Fix your face. <laughs> but I didn't go to school for culinary, so a lot of times when I'm eating, I learn as I go along, you know, and so as I do more of these videos and eat different spots and try different type of cuisines and experience chefs, have you had have you had any of these chefs in the area yet? Like food from any chefs, local chefs? Honestly, no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm missing out, huh? Yeah. Well, we gotta get you on with that, but um, I'm just uh, starting to spread across the center of the So, hey, I'm down to try anything. Look, I just learned. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> it. Oh, look, we here to eat though. Look, we here to eat. I was looking at Look, 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 I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something. Let's see if I can. Not the sauce. What should you eat, man? You know what? What should you eat that on? I don't know what I'm going to show you right now. No, that's all I'm telling you. You can just pour it over your rice. Just also, like you pour that. it on your rice. You okay. can pour it on your rice, mix that up. Take so, a bite. That takes me back. That takes really? me back. Because I used to have a friend in the family mm -hmm. that would make the sauce with the, with, the, with, the, with the rice like just like this. Just mix it up. That's all you need. So this has the garlic, ketchup, mayonnaise, and English sauce. And I have no idea what English sauce is, but okay. It's just supposed to be like a tangy dressing. Okay. You can pour it over your salad too if you got like a little house salad. <laughs> well, we're going to just continue on eating and chatting, learn more. It's really cool to see, you know, you have your sphere of influence and you got, you know, your niche and what you do. And, you know, I do what I do. I wish you the best, man. Hey, we're going to eat like, hey, there's enough room for all of us at the top. You know what I'm saying? So between him and I, and all the other local bloggers, maybe we can do one old big old collab, you know, once this performance is over with. We make sure, if you're new to this, that you click follow for Yummo Bucko. Yummo Bucko is an expression for good food. My name is Jamel Spalding. I primarily like to go to mom and pop places, food trucks, and certified chefs. Um, I'm on all social media platforms spelled the way you see on the shirt. And you can follow La Vida Josue. You can catch me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that. Just type in La Vida Josue. Come say hello. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you so much for inviting me on Thank you. Hopefully we can collab and do a little bit more in the future, all right? Yummo bucko. Yummo bucko. Yummo bucko. Let's eat, let's eat, yeah. Let's eat, let's eat, let's eat, yeah. Let's eat and critique. Let's eat, let's eat.